Hello everybody and welcome back to my Road to Max series. Today we've got a lot of little progress made. We've hit episode 10, making this actually the longest series I've ever ran on this channel. It also seems this series is going to last for a lot longer time too, with last episode having maxed our farming level and just scratching the surface of one of our goals in the Road to Max series. These videos take a while to make, and especially in this one, I've had to cut out a lot of the footage. I still want to thank you all and let you know YouTube tells me that 93% of the people who watch this are not subscribed. So since you're already here, you might as well subscribe. It's absolutely free and you can even change your mind later. With that out of the way, let's get into the video. It felt weird taking my farming gear off and getting back into combat. I went back to my island to collect the hard-earned work of my unpaid interns and came out a few collections ahead of where we started. I used this and crafted up both a large fishing sack and the enchanted version and upgraded the husbandry sack to large. I've been collecting the spare dungeon sets to donate to the museum, but it's clogging up one of my entry chests now, so I took the full set and I had donated them. It's still a small dent in a large hole. I did my daily experimentation table and got enchanting 32 when I went farming for summoning eyes and doing void gloom slayer at the same time. I got an eye and fought a tier one boss. A while later, I got another summoning eye. Killed a zealot and then spawned another special zealot and got my third eye. Kinda lucky. Let's kill another slayer boss and get our fourth eye. I farmed zealots for a while longer killing more bosses and passively leveled to enderman slayer level 3. Now I still can't kill the tier 2 enderman boss to save my life so I asked a buddy for tips and ended up buying a legendary lion pet for 28 million. Buying an antique remedy which boosts the lion's strength step by 80%. Now he let me borrow his tarantula helmet but I had real life obligations so I wasn't able to use it before I gave it back. I crafted up and bought a lot of new accessories to boost my magical power and bumped my skyblock level to 136 doing it. Now, I've been saving up bestiary milestones, and it's time to claim 27 of them. I got my combat level from 31 to 32, 33, and 34, upping my skyblock level to 137. I made my own tarantula helmet, 5-starred it, hot potatoed, and eventually dungeonized it. I took a bit to test the new dragon update on the alpha server and quickly realized that I could do with a good terminator. But that's a ways away. Might as well try the tier 2 boss. Anyways, that never happened and you saw nothing. I went to Farm Zombie Slayer starting at 63 kills. Went to Farm Zombie Slayer. Oh! You're cute. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Just saw the latest video and wanted to check out the island myself. <laughs> Dang, they're way bigger than I thought. Thanks, took some time. Very cool, nice job. Caught me right in the middle of working on the voiceover for Road to Max number 10 and thank you. Oh dang, can't wait for it to come out then. Just a little side note, I will always enjoy interactions like these. I know I've missed a few of you before, and I've seen the players that have visited me through my social display. Now I try to make an effort to at least say hi to anyone I can catch on. Thank you Dark and Hell for making my day just that much better. Back to the video. I was doing Zombie Slayer and I found a new looking player, and I gave him the rest of the Kuja armor that I had never used. You know, if you don't use it, just pay it forward, same as I've done. Now, I've technically lost a day's worth of content. My recording software decided to go crazy on me, and I'll show you what you did, but this is your warning now to look away if you're sensitive to lights or even the slightest bit epileptic. Yeah, I can't tell you why this happened, 
uh, but I'm not gonna force you to watch all of it. It's safe to look back now. Now, a lot happened on this day as I used it to run dungeons in a quest for a giant's sword. I ended up snagging three recombobulators, I got more accessories, and upgraded some that I already had for magic power, and while killing sea creatures, I unlocked the achievement Big Game Hunter for killing a sea creature that requires level 20 fishing or higher, even though my fishing was only level 18. Good job, Hypixel. But that day, I got Skyblock level 138 and 139. I checked it the next day and the recording software was fixed. I finished the dungeon run and my champion enchantment went to level 10 and got combat level 35, followed by eight more floor wins. I went on to Wolf Slayer and got a Red Claw Egg as a drop, which I used to craft the Red Claw Artifact. I did Wolf Slayer for a bit before I did some AFK farming, which is essentially using one hand to move and break crops. When I went to serve the guests, this happened. What the- <laughs> What? No, I was just thinking about that. <laughs> I used it to put the Mossy Reforge on my Rancher Boots, and later, I went to collect on a minion slot upgrade when it leveled me to Skyblock level 140. Now, in order to upgrade my bank account to hold more than a total of 120 million, I need more gold for my gold collection. Even though it's maxed out, the next bank upgrade requires 250,000 in the collection, so while putting a couple gold minions down and upgrading them, I got Carpentry level 37. Another summoning eye, then to the Dwarven Mine because gold collection, I found this weird magma slime boss called Bal, and I soloed my first Bal kill. Gemstone Collection 5, turned in this synthetic heart, I'm very confused. I went back to my island and got fishing level 19, popping my skyblock level to 141. Now this, this turned out to be a grind. I wanted to get the legendary Enderman pet for its bonus chance to spawn special zealots for more summoning eyes. However, they only drop from these level 50 Endermen. So I started the grind and decided to include the Tier 1 Enderman Slayer just as a side hustle for the items and experience. I kept grinding and killing the Slayer bosses, occasionally breaking off because someone spawned a dragon, which is where I got runecrafting level 21. Here's a few highlights. Now I did all that so far and marked that I had 1,545 Dragon Essence, and when I got to Slayer Kill 155, I reached level 4 Enderman Slayer, allowing me to finally equip the Final Destination Armor Set that I've had stored in my museum for a while. It didn't take long to level the armor up, which needs Enderman kills to give extra defense against, specifically, Enderman, with each piece giving 20, 40, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 310, and 335 defense after 25,000 kills. The armor gives bonuses up to 200,000 kills, and just getting 25,000 kills took me two days. But in those two days, I also got Shrimp the Fish from an Ender Node, leveled combat to 36, which gave me Skyblock level 142, wrapped up Romero's quest to the point where all I have left to give him is a flower minion, learned about event rewards and claimed a few spooky pies, and demolished the end race and claimed the pig's foot. May he rest in peace. Now in this time, I fought more tier 1 Enderman Slayer monsters than I care to admit. I mean, really. Near the start of it, I remembered to turn on the Slayer Tracker and had already gotten 76 kills, which I started around 50 or so. Here's some clips of taking down some of these bosses, and don't forget to pay attention to the counter here in the lower right corner.
Now at about 400 Slayer boss kills, I figured I had the defense to survive the tier 2s, but no, this wasn't about the efficiency at this point. I wanted to see if I could actually get Slayer to level 5 only doing tier 1s, which only gives 5 experience per kill. Remember when I had that day where my footage was corrupted? Yeah, I had a buddy carry one tier 2 kill, three tier 3 kills, and one tier 4 kill, which means I would have a total of 855 tier 1 kills to level up. Two days of pretty hard grinding and I'm halfway there. Should I just give in and do the next tier of Enderman for better experience? Yes, I absolutely should. But I didn't. I've got my mind on that legendary Enderman pet, and I'm gonna get it. Now, I've been collecting the loot I've gotten, and I've set up eight chests just for the armor, four for the other drops, and two for the Enderman pet drops. After two more excruciating days of listening to And then I finally got my Enderman Slayer to level 5. I collected the unlocked rewards, and this is the bounty of drops. Even though it's a double chest and then some of Enderman pets, not a single one was legendary or even epic. It wasn't until about this time that I learned in order to be on drop rate, I would need about three chests full of them. Yup, that's not happening in this time frame, so I scraped over 40 million from the bank and bought the cheapest one from the auction house. Now it's time to turn all that ender armor into dragon essence at the draconic altar. And when I showed you those eight chests, I was holding back. Starting from 1,545 essence and now with over 7,700, this is all the extra stuff I got from those altar sacrifices. Now I went back to the altar and I misclicked an upgraded Dragon Piper, and then upgraded my Zealot, maxing the special Zealot chance to 10%, and went right back to farming Zealots for the summoning eyes when... Wow, that was fast. Thank you all for sticking around to the end of the video, and thank you for showing me support on my Road to Max series. Just thinking that I've made it 10 episodes is crazy. Just by watching this or clicking like on this and leaving a comment is what it's about. Don't forget to subscribe. It's still free. Thanks for letting me make content for you, and like always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye